Dai Luk is one of the most interesting and important characters in the lore, and undoubtedly mysterious too, due to the many secrets revolving him and his household. We also need to be mindful of the fact that this man used a delusion for more than four years straight and without any side effects. It honestly makes you wonder, is Dai Luke truly human? Or perhaps there's something bizarre going on? To start off, Dai Luke has an unexplainable connection to the Phoenix. It's seen on his splash arts, on his name card, his elemental burst and its icon. Well, if you're not convinced that this is a Phoenix, here's a statement from Dai Luke's burst where it's clearly said that it is a Phoenix. Their reason I'm bringing up the Phoenix is because of its symbolism. According to multiple sources, the Phoenix symbolizes many things, which are immortality, resurrection, life after death, rebirth, and matter of fact. The Phoenix is an immortal bird that cyclically regenerates, or is otherwise born again, by obtaining new life by rising from ashes. This creature is also associated with the sun. While speaking of the sun, sunrise or dawn also symbolize many things, like rebirth, awakening, resurrection, the beginning of something new. And once again, Dai Luke has many connections with Dawn, since some of his nicknames are the Dawn Knight and the Dark Side of Dawn. Also, he's known as the Master of the Dawn Winery. And surprisingly enough, the name Dai Luke means Dawn. Not to mention, one of his burst voice lines is Dawn, break forth! One more thing, the name of his elemental burst is also Dawn. If we take a look at Dai Luke's fifth constellation, Phoenix, Harbinger of Dawn. Harbinger means someone or something that announces or signals the approach of another, while Dawn, as said before, symbolizes the beginning of something new or rebirth. So the overall meaning is Phoenix, sign of rebirth. And now into our last piece of evidence and probably the most convincing one. But before I tell you, I would like to remind you of something first. During Nahida's second story quest, we learn about Nibelung. Apep addressed Nibelung as the Dragon King. The Dragon King acquired the power of darkness from outside of this world. And this wasn't the first time we hear of that title, since Azdaa, who is most likely to be the Geo Sovereign, is also called Dragon King. Not even once, or twice, but five times. And so from this, we could say that all sovereigns are referred to as Dragon Kings. All right, back to Dai Luke. In his character details, we find something quite interesting about him. As you can see, in the very last sentence, Dai Luke is nicknamed as the uncrowned king of Mondstadt. If you didn't connect the dots already, the sovereigns are Dragon Kings, and Dai Luke is called a king, but more precisely, an uncrowned one. And you're probably wondering what could that mean? Well, as I said before, Azdaha could be the Geo Sovereign. And if we take a look at one of his boss drops, we find out that Azdaha's crown is his horns. If we apply the same logic to Dai Luke, he is uncrowned right now. Because he's only a human for now. Since this theory is about him being a potential vessel for the Pyro Sovereign. So the moment the Sovereign fully takes control of Dai Luke, then he will most likely grow horns aka his crown. One more thing I forgot to mention. Which is that according to the description of the Boltiter Bathus Mulvishaps, a new generation of the sovereigns is presently being born. Well, that's all for this Diluc theory. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for your time.